Hey superstars, it's your best friend Scott. It is time for the June recap, another whirlwind of a month. Uh, so much awesome sauce to talk about. As far as YouTube goes, I finished up my Grail project, so I released the videos for the final art piece and a reveal of that Cy Young card, and both of those were just so well received. Um, that whole series was just an amazing experience. So thanks for making me feel like a superstar. Uh, last weekend, Four Leaf and I did dueling doodles again for Bench Clear's Hobby Palooza. He drew and I painted Hank Aaron. Um, it is always a challenge to try to finish a piece in 50 minutes, but it's always a good time too. And we were so honored to be asked to do that again. Here is my finished painting that we raffled off to benefit signatures for soldiers. So thanks to everybody that participated in that. Uh, but you know, there are still VRs to do, care packages to thank people for, and pickups to show off. So less talk, more rock. Let's get into it. A while ago, my bestie Dustin, who just hit 1,000 subs because he's awesome and I'm super happy for him, but he's requested to see our top 10 cards from our favorite team without repeating a player. So I wanted to make sure I did a response for him and that has nothing to do with his subs or whatever. He just wanted to see some cards. Um, so here are my top 10 Minnesota Twins cards. Uh, we have a Burt Blylevin rookie, Tiffany Alvaro rookie, this cool 93 tops Kirby. Uh, I'm just kidding. Wanted to see if you were all paying attention. So what I did was I grabbed my favorite Indians or Guardians or Naps card from each decade. Like I said, I don't really follow directions, but uh, from the 2020s, I've got my autographed Dr. Sticks Tops Living Rookie. From the 2010s, I gotta get Jose Ramirez in there, so I have a 2019 Tops Tribute signed printing plate. From the 20 aughts, I dig this autographed 2001 uh, Bowman Heritage CC. In the 90s, nothing beats the Jim Tomey Rookie, representing the 80s, I'm gonna go with the Julio Franco Rookie. In the 1970s, my favorite is the 1975 Frank Robinson. For the 60s, the Indians were just awful, so my Venezuelan Bob Feller does the trick. I thought the 50s were going to be difficult because there are a ton of great 50s Indians cards, but nothing beats my signed Destruction Crew. Awesome, awesome card. For the 40s, I'm in love with this super cool 49 Leaf Jim Hegan. Not a superstar, obviously, but great looking card. From the 30s, I gotta go with Diamond Stars, so Earl gets the nod. For the 20s, probably the ugliest card decade ever, but Trish Speaker pooping makes me happy. Uh, 1910s, I love my T206 Addy Joss, and the 1900s, another T206 with my 1909 Cy Young. So that was actually 13 cards, but what are you gonna do about it? Come over here and fight me, because I'm feeling frisky, buddy. Bring it. That was kind of harsh, huh? A lot of times you discover channels through VRs, and this is one of those times. So my new best friend Mitchell at White Sox Fan Card Collector, he wants to see uh, Chase or Grail cards. And I don't know why I wasn't watching this guy before, but he's got a nice diverse collection and good taste and some interesting projects that he's working on. So like I mentioned, this is my Holy Grail card, and I just did a big, huge video about that one. So I thought I'd talk about another Chase card. It wasn't long after I started collecting as an adult that I started going after the 50 through 52 Bowman Indians team sets. I just really liked those. Um, I lucked out and I found great deals on the 50 and 52 sets, so I finished those rather quickly, but the 51 I had to piece together. And uh, early on, I found a dealer who had a 51 Larry Doby for $6. I passed on it because it had a little mark on the back, which I realize now that wouldn't have bugged me at all. But for some reason in that moment, I let it go. And then months passed and then years passed and I kept looking and looking and the price kept going up and up and up. And in the back of my dumb head, I kept telling myself that I found this card for $6 once. So hold out. But I love this Larry Doby card, probably my favorite Larry Doby card ever. And now this card is hard to find for under a hundred bucks. So cut to last Christmas, I received a package in the mail from some guy named Don's Field of Dreams cards who pretends to pick on me, but we all know he really loves me. And in this package is a beautiful PSA 4 1951 Bowman Larry Doby that makes me smile every time I look at it. So the moral of this story is if you want a cool card, just hold out and eventually Don will send it to you. So there you go, Mitchell. Hope that works for you. If not, just watch my recent Cy Young video and pretend that I made that one just for you. Uh, keep up the good work, man. 
My best friends Paul and Leah had a giveaway recently asking to see players on weird teams and I was fortunate enough to win one of the prizes. So this one says, thank you so much for your support and making the hobby so much fun. Right back at you guys. I wasn't expecting this. We got a black Allen and Ginter Jose Ramirez, Manny, Super Joe autograph, nice. Second year Rocky Calavito, Palacios, Arias, and that's really cool. Uh, there's an autograph Leah rookie. I love that. That's my favorite. And there's something else under here. Ah, I've, I have never seen this before. This is a 1950 all-star pinup Jim Hegan. Oh, wow. That is super rad. And this is the only thing that I was expecting in this magic box of awesomeness, a box of 2022 Donruss. And I'm going to get through the rest of this video and then I'll do a pack war with Milo at the end of this. So check that out if you want. Uh, but thanks, Paul and Leah. You rock. This one is from my best friend Mike from Canadian Cards. We got to hang out this spring at a couple of card shows, which was awesome. Green tape for the win. Anyway, he texted the other day and asked if I had a Louis Tiant rookie. At one point, I thought I had two and I gave one away, but it turned out that that was my only one and I've been kind of looking for one ever since, but it was one of those things that I never found it for what I paid for it originally. Oh, wow, Mike, I did not expect a very nice graded copy. That is sweet. Uh, with my Indians team sets, the 60s were pretty bad, so there weren't a ton of great cards, but this one is one of the best. Thanks, man. So generous. So awesome. I am very excited about this. My best friend Scott from Stooks Baseball Cards and Curiosities showed off a Sohio Don Mossy recently, which I did not have, and he offered to send it to me because Scott is awesome. But that's not all he sent. This Jose Cardinal stumped me, but that was from the packaging on those Transogram baseball figures. And this cool little Cal McLish is a 1959 Oklahoma Today. That's a neat one. I dig this stuff. So cool. Uh, there's the Sohio Don Mossy. These were distributed by Sohio Gas Stations in 1957, I think. Super, super cool. And there's an 88 Tops box bottom with Joe Carter and some other guys I've never heard of. Scott, these are great. Thank you, sir. This one is from my bestie Four Leaf. Uh, it says, thanks for a great four-year brouhaha. Here's a few cards to collect to connect us and commemorate the event. Four Leaf, Eddie, Tony, and I celebrated our four-year YouTube anniversaries together. Here's an awesome sticker. Dick Williams is connected to Eddie's Mariners, Four Leafs, Red Sox, and my Indians. And Heathcliff here connects all four of us. He played for the Red Sox, Mariners, Indians, and Cubs. Very cool. I remember him playing in Cleveland, but he never had a Cleveland card. And I know I did not have his autograph. So great idea, buddy. Thank you. For Father's Day, Milo and Mrs. Reindeer took me to my LCS and we picked out some more wacky packages and a really cool 59 mini Minoso. Unfortunately, they sold the Minoso that morning on eBay and they couldn't sell it to me. But I also got this cool Diamondbacks collection book. If you've never seen any of the Diamondback collection, it is just like the craziest, highest of high-end examples of the most iconic cards ever. It is super cool stuff. Uh, Milo usually gives me some national spending money and a suggestion on what to spend it on. And I got a kick out of this Don Mossy Pokemon. Um, eBay working on the Guardians roster autograph project. And, you know, they sometimes call up a guy for a spot start or they need an extra reliever. So I try to keep up with that. So here is Tuki Toussaint and Daniel Norris. And I'm pretty sure they've both been reassigned. I still collect Donruss cards as part of my team sets, and I usually just go buy the team set on eBay after they come out, but I hadn't done a break in a while, and it wasn't that much more, so I got a numbered Larry Doby, some numbered Lajaways, and Bob Lemon, and I scored a George Valera whammy. I like Valera a lot. He's been fun to watch in the minors. And here is an autographed Bob Feller Bond Bread but not Bond Bread card. That was ridiculously cheap. Um, this Joe Sewell is the last Playing Days Hall of Fame player card. What am I trying to say? Um, I now have at least one playing days card of every Cleveland Hall of Fame player, I guess. Uh, pretty beat, but it was a Greg Morris auction that I did not expect to win, so I bid low, and I won anyway. It's a 1928 W502. The thing I like about this photo is that black armband is what they wore at the end of the 1920 season after Ray Chapman died when he got hit in the head by a Carl Mays pitch. Uh, Sewell took over for Chapman. He helped the Indians win the pennant that year and went on to have a Hall of Fame career. And here is a piece that I did not need, but I love it. Here is a vintage J.C. Higgins baseball. It's signed, Best Wishes, Bob Feller, and then Best Wishes, Jack, and then Best Wishes, Adam Kuyper, and Best Wishes, Dick Milbury, I think. 
Um, I obviously don't know for sure, but it seems to me that a couple of kids had this ball signed by Feller and thought it would be cool to sign it in the same way. So just something fun and cheap, and that was less than 20 bucks. My man B. Roth sold me a 49 Bowman Joe Gordon rookie, which I did not have, and a nice 50 Bowman Al Rosen rookie, which I have plenty of copies of, but I couldn't help myself. From my LCS, I picked up this pretty nice uh, high number 53 Al Aber, a little crease there, but really clean. He had a bunch of these Kellogg's cards, and I should have picked up more, but I grabbed this cool Trist speaker, and I cannot pass up a Destruction Crew card. Someday I hope to add a nice PSA 7 or 8, and maybe Don will send me one, but in the meantime, I'll keep picking these up when I see them. Card shows. I went to one just a couple of miles from my house. I didn't find much, but my buddy John, he let me dig through a box of 1987 Topps Tiffany, and I pulled a Grandpa Phil and an Alvaro rookie. He just gave me those, so thank you, John. Another guy had a bunch of cool oddball stuff, and I bought this uncut squirt card with the Cobra and Super Joe, and then he had a Super Joe record. A local band made these up during his Rookie of the Year season, and it became kind of a hit in these parts. <laughs> Uh, thinking about getting those two pieces signed if I get the chance. The next weekend was Father's Day weekend, and I went to a show in Washington, Pennsylvania. I asked Theo and Don to go, but they both told me that I was smelly and they didn't want to hang out with me. But uh, Math Bowler and Papa's Cards didn't let me down. At that show, I found this sport magazine autographed by Frank Robinson, and I did not have his autograph until this one. I found a pretty nice signed early wind ball, and the steal of the show was this signed 51 Bowman Feller, uh, that was 10 bucks, but uh, I still told Mrs. Reindeer that it was 3 bucks. I was pretty excited about that one, and of course, Math Bowler ate a lot of food after the show. Speaking of Mrs. Reindeer, one Saturday, I wanted to go to the flea market, but she wanted to go to garage sales, and I've never really been a big fan of going to people's houses and rummaging through their junk, but at one house, I did find these cool stamps, and I look over, and I noticed this sweet cap roll box. Uh, there was no price, and I asked the lady, and she asked her husband, and he said 10 bucks, and I could not pay her fast enough. Now, it has the cigarettes still in there, and it has a stamp from 1926, but even though there were, never would have been any baseball cards in there, it's still very cool, and it goes nicely in my little T206 display. So that's it for now. Thanks again to all my best friends, Dustin and Mitchell, for the VRs. Thanks to Paul and Leah for the giveaway win. Thanks to Canadian Mike Stooks and Four Leaf for the awesome care packages. And of course, thank you guys for watching. Love your hobby. Make it unique to you. And stay tuned if you want to see what was in that Don Russ box from Fast Breaks and Breakfast. Take it easy, guys. Okay, one more. I always say one more, then I do a crappy one. I do like six more. Okay, here we go. Hey, superstars. <clears throat> Hey, superstars, it's your best friend, Scott. Okay, we're back. I'm with Milo, who hasn't been on the channel for a long time. How you no. doing, Milo? You, you didn't see your hand. Uh, the, the tips of my fingers. See my hand? Yeah, I, I know, I know. Okay. So we're going to do a pack war with this box from Fast Breaks and Breakfast, and we're pretty excited. Well, I am. I don't know about Milo, because these aren't Pokemon cards, so he might not care, but... I, I'm, not, I'm not that into Pokemon cards, but honestly. Oh. I, I, like, I know what things are worth, so... Is that a secret? Am I supposed to tell anybody? Oh, I don't know. Is it, I don't know if it's a secret or not. I, it's a fun game. Yeah. Right, we do have fun playing the game. Yeah, it is. All right. So we're looking for retro 1988 signatures, pink fireworks parallels. Cool. And unwrap one autograph per box on average. So Ooh. what are the rules to this box war, you think? We, there are no rules. There are no rules? We just beat each other up? Yes. Okay. Or... Six packs, so you get three, I get three. Only six packs? Yeah. Oh, those are big packs. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see why. Do you want to switch any of the packs? These are mine, these are yours, or do you want to keep it like that? Mm. We'll go with it. Go, go with, with it. Go with it? You want to go first? Yeah. All right, so do you want to do like pack versus pack or like stack versus stack? Let's do pack versus pack because that's more interesting. Okay, so whoever has the better pack gets all the cards from those two packs. Oh. Okay. All right. All right, here we go. You got to open them on screen. Then. You got to lean over, okay? Yeah, I know. Yeah. So these cards are ugly. Oh, I saw something shiny. Diamond Kings. This guy. I... Corbin Burns. Spencer Strider. You go up a little bit. There you go. 
Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth. I, that's not bad. <laughs> so I can't tell if these are like so ugly I hate them or so ugly I love them. That's my, like, jury's still out. There's Ronald Acuna Jr. Max Fried. Max Fried Chicken. Tim Anderson. J.P. Crawford. J.T. Realmuto. Wilson Contreras. Freddy Peralta. Nathan Ivaldi. Frankie Montas. Johnny Bench. Oh, we got a numbered card. Merrill Kelly. Oh, I don't know if that's good. Here's a cool one. You like the Mookie Betts? Very shiny. The pink. This one's Kenley cool. Jansen. This is even cooler. We got some Dominators, Garrett Cole Fireworks. That's pretty cool. And Diamonds and Marbles, whatever the heck this is. V Vladimir Guerrero Jr. You might have won with that one. That's yeah, cool. that's a pretty cool card. Okay. All right. And then Babe Ruth. I mean, if we're going player values, I mean, uh, I, he's been, I guess he's been called one of the best players. I, I don't know enough about baseball to figure that out. You think so? I don't know. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, John Heasley, Brian Reynolds, Tyler McGill, Mike Trout, O'Neill Cruz, Ty France, Frank Thomas, Garrett Cole, Ryan McMahon, Yohan Mikata, Francisco Lindor, Yadi Marlina, Jay Cronenworth, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Tyler, Tyler Molly, Seth Beer in the pink, Glaber Day in the pink, Ooh. Marcus Simeon Bomb Squad, and Juan Soto. <sighs> so what are you thinking? I don't know. Are, you, are we thinking it's a draw? Um, because you got two fancy cards, and I just got one. I don't know enough about these to tell you which is fancy, fancy, or just kind of fancy. So let's say it's a draw, and right. we'll keep going. And then th these are put to the side, and whoever wins gets them? Yep. Open our camera, please. All right. Yeah. So what do you think of your dad being a world-famous YouTuber? Don't flatter yourself. But look, I'm a YouTube sports call for a Yeah, you've been bragging... To Pragging <laughs> so like for months now. I have, huh? Yes. Just I agree. I think you're exaggerating. No, I am not. <laughs> More than all, the rest. all right, let's keep going. This dude. We're boring everybody. Hamburger. Yes. Big meat Pete. Arby's question mark? No, no, Arby's. I'm just, no, I'm just saying oh, okay. because we have the meats. Tom Terrific. Shane McClellan. Rue McClanahan. This dude. I don't know. Mitch Hamburger. Tatas, Jordan Alvarez, Nelson Cruz, Herman Marquez, Craig Biggio, Jesse Winker, Nolan Arenado. Oh, okay. Here's your pink, so you got Luis Frias, Randy uh, Rosarena. This guy and again. And Mike Trout. Uh, no, wait, that's different. And then. And Eloy Jimenez, okay. Elite Series. Uh, is that like good? Because it's a better spot than the Unleashed one? Uh, I don't you, know. I don't know either, because. You know, either fun cards, I just don't know what's what. Well, Mike Trout is a really good card, you think apparently. So? Like, I've heard that he's good. You've heard of that guy, huh? Yeah, because I'm just, I'm pretty sure he's good. Juan Soto, Riley Adams. Maybe I just like Juan Soto, Chaz McCormick, Trevor Story, Zach Gowan, Walker Bueller, Jazz Chisholm, Ozzy like Smith, <laughs> Jose Altuve, Ian Anderson, Luis Castillo, Javi Baez, Jared Kalanick. There we go, we got the, uh, I guess that's Statue of Liberty, Whit Merrifield, Pretty neat. Joey Votto, Tyler Molly. There's a Julio rated prospect. That one's kind of cool. Okay. And Jose Altuve. Um, so what do you think? Are we still tied? I got the Statue of Liberty card. And I got the Julio rated prospect. Is Mike Trout good? Yeah. Do, do, do you think we're still tied? I have no idea. I have no idea either. This is really uneventful. <laughs> okay. I guess the last one is for all the Mirbels. The Mirbels? The Mirbels. All right, let's see what we get. Oh, you know what? You go first. I go first? Yeah, because I, yeah. Hmm. I wonder if people can hear the uh, cat meowing away back there. Yeah. Brandon Marsh. Nice ding corners here. Josh Allenson. Aaron Ashby. Chris <laughs> Ichiro. Yeah, you I, like each other? Yeah, I once pulled a 300 Thanks. something card. 300 dollars something. Card. Card Montcastle, yeah. Jacob Stallings, oh, no. Calverton. I got. Oh no. I'm not getting it right. Carlos Correa, Kyle Tucker, Brian Reynolds, I'm sorry. Cody Bellinger, Josh I'm Bellinger. Wait, I'm not. Josh Hader, excuse me. Jonathan India, Stars and Stripes, Romy Gonzalez, Tommy Edmund, Ozzy Ozzy Albies, and. Oh, another Marvel one. Marvel's Tatas. Alright. 
Fast breaks and breakfast again because even though this isn't my like wheelhouse, it, it is fun. Jake Myers, Brandon Lau, Willie McCovey, Ronald Acuna Jr., Rod Carew. What do you think of Rod Carew? Brooks Robinson, you got the uh, veterans back here. I don't know who Rod Carew is. Robbie Ray, another Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth, Patrick Wisdom. Is he wise? I don't know. Rafi Devers, Brandon Belt. Oh. Eric Fedge. It's backwards. Oh, yeah. I think you just won, bud. Yep. Get right. yourself an Eric Fetty autograph. And then Jim Thome. Jim Thome? You know who that is. <laughs> no, I have no idea. Jim Thome. <laughs> you're, you're supposed to be my son. Mike. Yes, Cliff Hill. Cliff Hill. Kiki. Okay. Whit Merrifield. That's a really neat um, design. You like the hit list? Yeah. And then. Byron Buxton. Another cool design. Hashtag. Hashtag, Buxton. hashtag, 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 hashtag. All right, so I think you won it with Eric Fetty. There's a, uh, it's, it's okay because there's an, um, a very disturbing lack of Cleveland cards in this in this box, but bum, bum, bum. that's all right. All right, we had fun. Thank you again, Paul and Leah, and uh, that's it. Say goodbye, Milo. Bye. Thanks for joining me. You're welcome. All right.